Hi, my name is Rosie, and today on Come Live, we talk about how such a biodigester can use 400 to 500 kilograms of solid organic waste and convert it to energy. My name is Dominic Humbu. I'm the director and founder of uh, Biogas International. We are, we've branded our product uh, Flexi Biogas. Uh, Flexi because it's extremely versatile. Um, it's made of flexible material. It can do, it can fit in anywhere. It's portable. It's got many, many flexible attributes to it. So our original focus was on solving the Mama and Jerry's cooking problem in the village. We did a survey on a group of, uh, of ladies and we learned that they start collecting firewood from the age of five and literally collect firewood to the grave. They used to spend maybe an hour or an hour and a half per day. Now they're spending three, four hours a day uh, collecting firewood. So if you do the math, if you multiply those three or four hours times 365 times the number of years, it's more than half of their productive lifetime is actually spent collecting firewood and tending to the cooking uh, chores of the house. When you replace that with biogas, you've alleviated poverty. They, they change completely. They go straight into a productive uh, mode. They've got fertilizer from the digester, so they become more productive on the farm. They're much healthier because they're no longer inhaling all the smoke and what have you that comes with, with firewood. So instead of moving the waste all the way to the landfills, we can manage the waste at source and feed the gas directly into communal kitchens and offset the use of wood fuels. Anywhere where there's humans, there is water, because humans don't settle where there's no water. Where there's water, things grow. Where anything grows, it is biodegradable, and a digester will turn it back into energy. So we look at plants, all of the different growing things, as mineral miners, because what they're doing is they're pulling minerals from deep down in the soil. We're turning, the digester will turn those minerals back into usable fertilizer, and you get the energy. The gas can be converted into heat energy. Uh, it can be converted into electrical energy. It can be, you can run vehicles. There's nothing you can't do with biogas energy. Human food makes the highest volume of gas compared to any other feedstocks uh, there are. And it's because human food has got the highest calorific value. So the fresher it is, the better. So the sooner the food gets rejected from the market or from your plates or from your kitchen and gets into the digester, the more gas you're gonna get. Four hundred kilos of waste will give you about thirty to forty thousand liters of gas. So that's equivalent to about maybe fifteen to eighteen kilos of LPG. So if you think, if you imagine, what could you do with that? It's a it's a huge amount of gas. We throw away sixty percent of our fruit and vegetables every single every single year. A lot of that can be dehydrated using using the gas. There's huge opportunities in the food value addition section that from the gas, from the remark stations. We're looking for partnerships with uh, investors, people who have got um, a keen passion for wanting to do something about the, the garbage problem. We want the partners to be able to manage the side of, uh, they know if they come from the area, they speak the language, they know the local chief. They can, you know, make sure that the system can operate smoothly um, in those areas. We also want to partner with universities and institutions of education that can do research and so we can get numbers. When you have a dream, when you can see that there is a, there's a challenge somewhere and you know you have a solution to it, go for it. If it is a real solution, you will eventually manage to achieve your dream. Yeah.